Hi, I'm Paul Drew from Studio One Expert. Today I'm going to show you my favourite delay plugin, which is Sound Toys Echo Boy. Now there's lots of different ways that we can add effects into our channels. We can either copy it straight into our inserts here, or we can create an effects track by dragging it straight into our sends. So I'm going to show you both ways. So let's first of all just copy it straight into an insert. Now a lot of these delay plugins can either work in either mono or stereo. So let's just switch the delay to a stereo ping pong and let's see how that sounds. So even though I'm in a stereo mode in this plugin, the delay is still mono. So if I want to use it in stereo, I need to switch this button here to stereo. Okay, so let's remove that. And I'm just going to switch the channel back to mono. Okay, so now let's do it the other way by copying Echo Boy into our sends. Now again, there's two different ways of doing this. So I can just drag it straight into my sends here. And as you see, it's popped up here in my mixer. Now, if I do it a different way, if I add a bus channel, here's my bus here. Now let's call this, let's call this Echo Boy Bus. If I copy Echo Boy to this bus channel, you see the difference between the effects channel and the bus is this send here. So I can then send that delay straight onto reverb if I wish. So let's just remove that old um, effects channel here. There we go, just keep things tidy. And I'll remove it here as well. So I'm just gonna be using it, using the bus mode. Okay, let's close my mixer. Let's have a quick listen to that. Okay, now the first thing I need to do as we've got it in a send effect, is to turn my mix up full on Echo Boy. And I can control the amount of the send from this slider down here that I'm setting to the delay. So let's look at all the different parts of this plugin here. And as I've already explained, here's the mix knob. Now we've got low cut, here's my filters and a high cut just to shave off the top and the bottom so it sits better in the mix. I've got my echo time. I can take anything from 64ths all the way up to a whole note there. For the moment, just keep it on eighths. Now on this bit here, I can take it out of divisions of the tempo just by switching it onto time. Keep it on note, and we can either switch it from straight note or dotted or triplets here. Let's keep it on the straight notes, and we'll turn the feedback up a bit, which is the amount of repeats we get. Perfect. Now down here, we, we can change from a single echo to a dual echo, to ping pong, to rhythm echo. But for the moment, I'm gonna keep it on ping pong. Now I can switch it out of the, the tempo here, which is 70 BPM on this song. And I can tap my own tempo if I want to. If I wanna double it maybe. Around there somewhere or switch it back by lifting this lever up here. Now the thing that sets this delay plugin apart from other delay plugins is the style bit here. So let's switch it on to say AM radio and I'm going to saturate the delays as well. And it also mimics some old guitar delay pedals. So let's switch on to Memory Man, and let's have a listen to that. Let's turn this up a bit. Now the great thing about a Memory Man is that it adds a type of chorus to the delays. A 
Tilray, which is a very dark delay. And we have different tape echoes as well. So I'm Paul Drew from Studio One Expert. I hope you've enjoyed the video and I'll see you next time.